Introducing first, the blue corner. Standing five feet nine inches tall, weighing 155 pounds even. This 15 year MMA veteran holds a professional record of 11 wins with 11 losses. Representing team Chupacabra from Yakima, Washington, Chiron, the dream catcher, Spade. Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Standing five feet, eight inches tall, his official weight, 155 and one half pounds. One and O at combat games, three and three overall as a professional, representing Diaz Combat Sports from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, presenting McKinde Enigma Adeyame. Your referee, Ryan Hoisington. All right, fight number six. Five five-minute rounds. We'll see if it goes that far. Just three fives, I believe. My bad. Thank you. Both fighters take the center of the cage. See McKendy's footwork. He's starting to get on that bike and move. It's pretty hard to hit. Big right Brown hand looking to pick those shots. Big right hand coming through for Spain. Ooh, left hook. Oh! Left hook, drop Spain. He's starting to recover. McKendy's on him, though. Professor Chris Cope almost stopped that fight. Sean recovered just in time. McKendy's working into that crucifix position, looking to land some shots here. Oh, he locks on an Americana, and Sean's popping up too. Sean might still be a little dazed. That was a gnarly blow. Big shot dropped him. McKendy working in those leg hooks. And Got that body triangle in. I didn't get the chance to see McKendy's ground game last time he fought. It was mainly a stand-up battle, so kind of excited to see what his ground game has to offer. Sharon's a vet, though. Like you said, let's see what what he does down here. You know, he's got some tricks in the bag himself. Yeah, he's been in he's been in this position before. McKendy doing a great job of staying in control and on Spain's back. He's working for that choke. Sean doing a good job of fighting those hands. Oh, McKendy looking for that choke. He's digging oh, that. Sean got his arm in again, or his hand in again, pulled it off. Came in to scramble. A little bit of a chess match here. McKendy looking for a few shots to soften him up, see if he can find that submission. Hard to get out of that body triangle. The tough yeah, spot to be. That is the most uncomfortable spot to be in when someone has you in there. Especially when it's locked inside like that. He's got his left foot on Sharon's thigh, calf area, so you can control that leg. Like that is one of the most difficult positions. Yeah, we could be in this position for a minute. That, that body lock triangle is hard to get out of. Sharon trying to get to his feet. Got to be careful here. Tara Hamstring coming up like that. You see McKendy looking for the arm bar. Oh, it's close. Sean's got him stacked Sean's up. Sean's going to pick him up, drop him. Big slam. Sometimes that'll tighten it up, though. I'm going to slam him again. Oh, big slam. McKendy's still on that arm, though. He's, He's still on that go. arm. Sean's going to do it again. Yep. Sharon to side control. Takes a lot of energy to pick a man up like that and slam him though. Sean looking for that front choke. Oh, McKinney just ragdolled him over his shoulder. So back right and, in front of us. Back and forth here now. You can see him scrambling. But McKinney's gonna end up with that reversal and end up on top. Shoving those legs out of his way. He's working his way towards the mount. I was going to say, that's already kind of a modified mount. Sean's in some trouble here. He needs to start hip escaping. Use his hands to push. Yeah, definitely don't let him flatten your back out. Yeah, McKinney secured that mount now. Sean there you go, using that wall. Oh, you see that cage wall. Solid, solid reversal. All right, let's see what happens now. Let's see Kendi's guard game. 
Fight's slowing down just a little bit. Both fighters catching their breath. Yeah, both guys used a lot of energy. Ooh, McKenzie climbing for that armbar. Strong clears it. Shrugged it off. Passes the side. Oh. Hipped that? out so hard he knocked him down. Wow, it's crazy. Big bridge and roll from a knee ride. Now he ends up on top. sharon has got that one butterfly just stopping McKendy from mounting and advancing in position. He needs to work to get that other one up. He's got those double underhooks and one butterfly. He needs to try to get that second butterfly through or make something happen. He's still not in a very good position down here. There he goes, he's starting to adjust now. I'd like to see McKendy get his hands back off the mat. There's our 10 second bell, this first round's coming to an end. Sharon giving up his back. Oh, Sharon looking for that Kimura. Uses it to reverse. And there's the bell. Ooh, that was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. A little Kimura to the armbar attempt. Great first round. Great first round. I'm excited for round two. Yeah, good back and forth battle. Probably give that to McKendy. He was on top a little bit longer. Had a few more submission attempts. And he had that big punch that knocked yeah. thrown down. Yeah, he did drop him that big punch. Right, That's going to give him the round right there. You're going to round two in our featured bout. Walk us through this, Ed. Here you see big slam here. They're not allowed to spike a fighter on his head unless he's in a submission attempt because he has the ability to let go of it. Oh, right on the top of his head there, though. That had to hurt. And, but he still held that arm and kept squeezing. And then when Sharon went for that third one, that's when McKenzie decided, nah. But he still held that arm, but he got slammed again. Here we go with round two. Both men looking good. Hopefully Sharon's recovered from that the last that hand had him out. Yeah, sure. Sharon's been hurt before and came back and won, so. Both fighters being patient. Sharon's kind of controlling the center of the cage. And Kendi doing a good job circling away from that power hand. Yeah, Sean's stalking him, cutting him off, not letting him Ooh. move. He's at footwork. Nice left hook landed on the way in there. Sean's being patient. Let's see what he's looking for. What did he see? Oy. Oh, nice head kick from Sharon. A couple hey. punches and he backs out. Looks like he sees an opening on that left side. He's throwing that left hook and that big head kick almost landed. A stiff jab for Spain. Good exchange and a oh. shot by McKendy. Sean doing a good job defending that takedown. Oh, McKendy's got his hands oh. locked. Finishes the double. Back to that modified mount. He's trying to try and climb through here, come back up. Kind of going Habib style with that figure four around the legs. Oh, Spain was able to clear it. And oh, and now McKendy's right back into mount. This is a bad spot to be for Spain. He's got to wiggle himself out of that, escape his hips. All while watching out for McKendy's fist coming at his face. Yeah, I'd like to see McKendy try to get his back off the cage and get him flat just like that. It's like he read my mind. Sean's in big trouble now. He's got to make a move, see if that cage walk can oh, work. There we go. Oh. Oh, right oh, in. oh, Sharon was going to try. Oh, he's trying again for the armbar. Yeah, right into that armbar. He was able to kind of counter and roll into that off the cage walk. Sharon, Sharon hammer fisting. Yeah, Sharon cleared the armbar, landed a couple hammer fists. Grabbed my arm, punch you for it. A good use of his forearm there that he used as well, right in McKinney's face. Had like to see Sharon. Yeah, like to see Sharon walk his hands back towards the hips, get his hands off the mat. So he can do damage with them. McKinney's doing a good job of wrapping those arms up. Short elbow there by Spain. Another one. Oh, right back into that armbar. That one's pretty tight. Oh, he's thrown out into side control. Good back and forth scramble here. McKinney's back to his feet. Gets those hands locked again. 
Drops Sharon on his butt again with his back against the cage. Yeah, Sharon needs to wrestle there and not look for those those short chokes. Can get you in trouble. And he's gonna look to put his back on the ground again. He can lock his hands behind the waist there and use his head. He can drive him off the mat. Oh, right back to mount though. Got to try to circle his legs off the, off to the side, get his back flat on the mat again so he can do ground and pound damage. Ed, when you're in positions like this with the guy, do you talk shit? Maybe, maybe joking around in the practice room, but never been a much of a shit talker in the middle of a fight. Oh, a little lateral drop attempt. Back to the feet. Right back to that cage. Sharon's got that head position, good cage control. Can they work in that arm in? Good battle there in the clinch. Oh, Sean. Not sure what that was. He pulled him right into mount, though. Right in the good. Form. McKinney's taking, landing some shots now. Sean trying for that armbar again? Yes, yeah, Sean's for... in trouble. His coach is calling for him to score and punch and not go for the armbar. He looked right at his coaches. Did a good job of listening to his coaches. They said, no armbar. Keep freaking oh, scoring. That elbow was solid. Big elbow there. Sean bridges and gives up his back. He didn't like that elbow. Kenny's got the hooks in now. Good control here from McKendee. He's kind of falling off the top a little bit. Let's see if Sean can take advantage of it. Getting a little top heavy here, McKendee. Looks like he might have to bail to that arm bar. He is going to try and bail for that arm bar again. He's sneaking it up with that left hand. Oh, Sharon knew it was coming. He's able Tried to scramble. Just away from it. Yeah, good job staying on top for McKendee. Be patient here. Keep the Ten weight seconds. on the hands. Good job listening to your coaches by McKendee and staying on top. Sometimes you go for those submissions and you lose your top position. It's the end of round two. Another great round. Another great round. Who do you give? Where, where do we stand on rounds? Did we talk? McKendee, both rounds? Yeah, because the first one he had that knockdown. Yep, yep. That's... This one he controlled most of it and it's Mr. So, yeah, so we're 2 0, McKendee. Yep, yep. And Sharon's looking pretty tired over here now. So, Sharon needs knock it. Sharon has to finish this in order to win. Round three of our featured bow, folks. We still have our co main event. Kogi's inaugural super lightweight title, 165 pounds. Dex Montenegro versus Darren Smith Jr. And then we have our main event, Koga's welterweight title. Walk, whoa, camera's wobbly there, but walk us through what's going on here, Ed. What are we seeing? McKenny's just doing a good job of controlling kind of wrestling ride position, landing a couple good left hooks, keeping the weight on Sean Spain's hands, not letting him come up to his feet. Pretty simple, basic stuff, staying on top in good position. And so if I'm McKenny's coach, corner I'm saying more of that don't go there for the submissions unless you absolutely know they're there but just more of the same and Sharon you're saying hey you have to finish this to come out of here with a W yeah he needs to finish here we go round three folks Let's see who's got more gas in the tank here Sharon stocking forward like he did the last round Even Kenny can get that nice footwork going. He's not moving as much as he did his last fight. I feel like last fight he was moving his feet more a little bit, setting up those shots. Oh, good uppercut. Nice exchange there by both guys. Oh, big oh that was a big one that connected and Sharon's still standing. Yeah, I think it just grazed him a little bit. Another quarter inch that of landed clean. Nice right leg kick. See if he can set up that right hand again. Sean's still just walking him down. Good job by Spain there. Oh, McKendee looking for that right hand again. He here can see here comes that up. footwork you were talking about from McKendee. He's showing it now. Sean working in the body lock. Back to that cage control. 
He's in his head position. Needs to open up here a little bit. Look to land some knees up the middle, maybe. I think he needs a, a finish to win this fight. Kenny's not gonna let that happen easy, though. He's winning this fight, he's got to stay smart. Big deep breath by Spain there. These guys are still walking him down, though. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all out in the cage for you tonight. Oh! Short right hand misses for McKendy, and Spain comes through with his own. Landing pretty clean. Sean's not afraid of a dog fight, though, is he? No, no he is not. Here to you live. We're live from the Tulalip Casino. I'd, I'd like to see McKendy blast the double leg. That'd be interesting. You know, he shot a couple times last round. Might surprise us here. Or surprise Sharon, get him banging and then take that quick shot. Try to outsmart him here. Sharon's hunting though. Yeah, he's just walking down hunting. Taking a kick of shots. Yeah, he's looking for that big shot. He needs a finish. Oh, big left hook. There we go. There, there's that double leg you were looking for. The right here in front, front of Ed about Ed yeah. Ed. McKinney's got those hands locked again, finishes the takedown. That's the third time he's finished the double leg after locking his hands. Really good job there. And every time he's landed that double leg, he goes to this modified mount, works his way up until he can pull Sharon down to the ground. Flatten out his back. Sharon doing a good job. Not working those double butterflies. He's not working them, but they were there. Let's see Sharon. There we go. Pop his hips and come up. Got that arm trapped. You can say he does have to watch out for those punches coming in like that. You see McKenzie's a strong dude holding, holding that tight waist. Got that body lock. Oh, returns him to the mat with a nice outside trip. Sharon working that butterfly. Can't quite recover the sweep. He's got that, that butterfly in, kind of half. Half guard almost, but... Half, half butterfly? Can we call it half butterfly? Half butterfly, but McKinney's passed that one leg. He's got the arm trap. McKinney's going to post up and rain down punches in. I was waiting for some elbows or something big yeah. to come there. But Sean's able to control that wrist, do a good job of damage control. And turning away from that power hand. Oh, looking for the Kimura now. That half guard Kimura can be super dangerous. He's got to be able to switch his hips, though. He's working on it over here. Well, he's working on it, but it's going to be hard to get like that. He's going to, there you go, you got to look it so you can turn your hips a little bit in it. Oh, no, McKenny's back in control here and back into that. Going back to his feet. McKenny going to slam him now. Oh, big mat return there. Sean's working back up to his feet. McKenny got tired of those slams when he had the armbar on, so he said, let me throw you down for a second. Yeah, a little payback. You're going to slam me, I'm going to slam you. McKinney scrambles to the top. Ten seconds. A ten-second bell already, huh? I went quick that last round. Drop him again at the end of the round. I think you got to give McKinney that one. Yeah, I think so. That, that round was a little closer, but... But, I mean, he had those Great two fight. or three... Great battle, though. What a, what a Great fight. Great battle. What a fight. Yeah, McKenny's a tough guy, man. I'm excited to see his future as well. Hard to believe he has three losses. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Must have, he's probably fought some pretty tough competition, which in the long run will... Here we go with that know, replay. Yeah. You see Sharon Ooh. trying a little dance move that... Yeah, a little side step. Landed. A little power step. Got through with the right hand. Kenny measuring up, finding that range. Sharon just staring, stalking. Oh, That's that one that kind of grazed him. Just grazed him. What a great fight, though. We went from a bunch of quick finishes to some, some long, drawn-out battles. Solid battles, too, here at Supreme Showdown. Great night of fights.
and we still have our co-main event for the super lightweight title. Still have our main event for the welterweight title. Our ring announcer Garrett Furtig is on his way to the ring with the judges' scorecards. See who the nod goes to here. Yeah, again, check out Koga.tv for our upcoming events. We've got all kinds of events. March, May, July, Koga.tv, folks. Judges at cage side for the decision. Your first judge, Jeff Hoiby, sees the contest 29-28, while judges Terrence Moody and Josiah Mitchell both see it 30-27. All for your winner by unanimous decision, McKinde Enigma Adiyame. Once again, the show is presented by Combat Games MMA.